Dear shareholders, uh, I'm Lars Söderfjell. I'm a member of the Fingerprint Cards Board of Directors. In January, uh, the board announced its intention to launch long-term financial targets in connection with AGM. And today, I'm very pleased to present these targets to you. When we first started to talk about creating long-term financial targets for the company, uh, some investors actually asked us why we did this. Wasn't it sufficient with a near-term full-year guidance? In short, we see two good reasons for introducing these long-term targets to you today. First, we believe that all shareholders are entitled to know what they realistically could expect from the company beyond the current year. Uh, we think that this will help you to evaluate your investment from a fundamental viewpoint and hopefully uh, our targets will be sufficiently good for you to feel that your investment was worthwhile. Second, we believe that Fingerprint being the clear market leader in the biometric market is in a very good position to estimate both the market development and our own ability to compete in this market. So consequently, our long-term financial targets may help markets to form a more accurate view on our company and our industry than what other external sources, such as industry and company analysts, are able to do. Before I start to talk about the targets as such, uh, I would like to spend a couple of minutes about how we think about them. First, what is long-term? Um, in a fast-developing market as the biometric industry, uh, we think it's very difficult to adopt a more long-term outlook than three years out uh, with any precision. So consequently, uh, the board and the management has opted for three-year moving targets that will be revised annually, typically in connection with a 4Q earnings release. Uh, this means that the targets I will talk about in a short while are for 2016 to 2018, with 2015 as the base year. Next year, we will talk about 2017 to 2019, and so on. We also wanted the financial targets to be very simple and very robust. They should be easily to com communicate both internally within the company and externally to you as shareholders and to other stakeholders. As shareholders, you should, by a quick glance at the quarterly earnings release, be able to judge whether we are on track to reach and meet our targets or not. Before I turn to the targets, uh, I just would like to highlight that the financial targets should not be considered as guidance. It is what a board and a management team currently believes are long-term reasonable ex expectations for the company. And actual results may, as usual, differ materially from these targets. We have selected three main areas for the financial targets. These areas are growth, profitability, and the capital structure. I will now continue to discuss these targets with a short background for each of them. First, growth. This is a very important area for fingerprint cards. And for the next three years, we see rapid growth in the accessible market. At the same time, we believe that our strong product portfolio and our investments in R&D will make us very competitive in this market and may, uh, will, will enable us to defend and even strengthen our market positions. The first target, fingerprint cards targets a compound annual revenue growth rate of approximately 60% from 2016 to 2018. To save you some time, a compound annual growth rate of 60% would imply revenues of more than 12 billion Swedish kronor in 2018. On what assumptions do we base this target? Well, first, as I said, we see a very rapidly growing accessible market in the next couple of years. As our CEO discussed in his speech to the AGM today, the market will be dominated by smartphones and tablets in 2016. From 2017, the next year, and onwards, we expect other verticals, such as the smart cards, 
and Internet of Things, to mention a couple, uh, to make a gradually increase in contribution to the market growth. The IoT market will probably uh, be in its infancy in 2018 uh, and will be even more important for our growth in the coming years. But let's revisit that subject in next year's update of the financial targets. Secondly, uh, we think that fingerprint cards has a very strong product portfolio that combined with further investments in R&D and our patent portfolio will enable us to maintain a leading position in both existing and new verticals. We do target a number one position in all new verticals that we will enter in the next few years. We have already demonstrated some of the results from our R&D investments in the past two years. Examples are new and enhanced algorithms, anti-spoofing software, under glass sensors, side-mounted sensors, and radical size reductions of the sensor area while maintaining uh, a high quality of the pictures. Just to mention a few achievements. At the same time, we are aware that a number of competitors certainly would like to challenge us going forward. Hence, we have included certain assumptions on average selling prices and market shares that reflect increased competitive pressures in the coming years. We will not share these assumptions with you today uh, uh, for competitive reasons, but we can assure you that we're not basing our uh, targets on a blue sky scenario. Finally, uh, we would like to highlight that the growth targets uh, are organic. It excludes impact from exchange rate fluctuations and also from structural changes. Growth is important, but it's equally important to grow with high profitability. So let's continue to the next target. Fingerprint cards targets an operating margin of at least 35% for each year from 2016 to 2018. We believe that uh, the operating margin is the most relevant profitability metric for fingerprint cards, as it includes not only the gross margin, which some people tend to focus on, but also captures our investments in R&D and the sales organization. Our operating margin target is based on an assumption that the gross margin over time will stabilize in the 40 to 45 percent range. Currently, it's well above the top of this range. In order to maintain this high level of profitability, we believe that it's important to continue to invest in product development. Fingerprint cards should at all times and in all markets be able to offer the consumer or the customer the best mix of price and performance. Our margin targets means that we expect to be able to keep overhead costs at a low level relative to sales, in spite of continued investments in R&D. One factor that will help us to achieve this is our economies of scale we have today significantly higher volumes than our competitors. And this means that we can afford to invest more in new products than our competition and still remain very profitable. If we are able to grow the business in line with our targets and maintain a high profitability, our financial position is likely to improve further in the years to come. This is reflected in our third financial target. Fingerprint cards will have a strong balance sheet, typically with a net cash position. Excess capital will be returned to shareholders through share buybacks and or dividends. The board and the management believe that a strong balance sheet is necessary in order to capture the growth opportunities that we think will emerge in the coming years. We are mainly talking about organic growth, but we don't exclude smaller bolt-on acquisitions that will support the development of new and existing verticals. The Board of Directors has chosen not to quantify the balance sheet's strength in this target. However, typically, 
we will strive to have a net cash position in order to remain a strong and credible partner to our customers, suppliers, employees and other shareholders. However, uh, we don't exclude that the company at some point in time could take on a modest amount of debt if it's justified by the growth opportunities. Finally, uh, the board intends to di distribute excess capital to shareholders. This will be done through share buybacks, cash dividends, or a combination of these two. We think that the company currently has a very strong balance sheet and we will within shortly initiate share buybacks if the AGM decides so. Fingerprint Cards has made a great journey during the past couple of years. With several years of profitable growth ahead of us, we think that the best is still to come for the shareholders. Thank you for your attention.